Welcome to the physics of toys. To accelerate the cart, we have a launcher with a rubber band underneath. It has four positions. And of course, uh, as you get to position one to two to three to four, the cart will go faster. If the car is going fast enough, it makes it around the loop. If it's not going fast enough, then it doesn't. What is the first step in inquiry-based physics? I have I contemplated this for many years. You, you must, must have a well-formed question to begin your journey of inquiry. This being one of the first lab activities, we're going to help you get started by giving you a question. What launcher position is needed for the car to make it around the loop? Now that I have a question, what do I do next? The second step in inquiry physics is observation. Today, your observation will be in the form of doing an experiment. Like ancient Babylonian scribes, you record your observations in a table. The Babylonians actually wrote on mud tablets with rows and columns. You will do a similar thing, except on paper. I've done my experiment. I've done the calculations, and the answer is five. Am I done? Your summary certainly should provide an answer to the question that was posed at the beginning of the experiment. But we're hoping for a little bit more, that you might... Uh, think about what happened and pose new questions. Do you think if the cart makes it around the first loop, it'll also make it around the second loop? Maybe. In our first experiment, we haven't really determined the critical speed necessary for the cart to make it around the loop. We don't know, for example, if the second notch makes the car go twice as fast and the third notch makes it go three times as fast. So what we do is create a new experiment. Uh, and this time we're going to give speed to the cart by rolling the cart down a hill. You kind of know that the further you go down a hill, the faster you would be going. How high do we have to start? at the same height as the loop, much higher? Does the shape of the path matter? Does it have to be straighter to make it work? What really determines the speed of the car? The distance that it travels down the hill? Or is it the vertical drop in height that matters? Wow, so many possibilities. How about this time, you design your own experiment? What is the first step to inquiry physics? Will physics change my life?